All right, everyone, let's talk interior and glass. And this, well, I guess we'll call, I don't know what we should call this version. I don't know that it's quite version 2.0. Uh, we're making an adjustment to what we're using for the leather care. Uh, so let's just call it version 1.1 or something like that. Uh, so I'm going to go through each product and uh, sort of explain the methodology here. Uh, and it's a little tricky because I have like glass exterior and glass interior, but the glass exterior works for the interior too. But uh, I'm trying to figure out how to how to build this 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 custom packaging of things uh, so that it all communicates or fits together. So uh, anyway, we'll we'll keep we'll keep working through that. But this is the newest version. So let's start with just basic interior cleaning. Uh, obviously, you would vacuum, right? I like to generally like to vacuum first, uh, but uh, vacuums will be coming at some point here uh, as I continue to work through different tool sets. But uh, I would like to deal with some custom install vacuums and then a regular roll around vacuum. Uh, but the probably the most useful product uh, or the product that I'm going to use on, on the interior in general would be a PNS interior cleaner. And so the package comes with a gallon and a 32 ounce bottle. Uh, this combination will probably last me two years, something like that in general. Uh, but uh, but to, to, to do this, this sort of surface cleaning, you can use this for cleaning the leather, just regular, just sort of touch up cleaning, uh, leather dash, uh, vinyl dash, plastic dash, all your plastic parts and pieces. I generally won't clean screens with this or gauge clusters. I would use the invisible glass, but uh, pretty much everything in the interior clean, you would clean. Um, this was a replacement for me uh, when uh, Nexet, uh, we were ordering it and I kept getting all kinds of complaints. I don't know if they've kind of ironed it out now uh, but next that cockpit is another great interior cleaner uh, that I used for a number of years but I had some issues with the scents and things like that because uh, Einzet was then rebranded or purchased by a new company, Nexet, and uh, Mike, the U.S. importer, we were, we were just having issues with, uh, s with smell and, uh, and just some oddities to it. Um, again, I don't know if they've ironed it out, but I've fallen in love with this. I will sort of caution you that some people I mean, the smell to me, it grows on you um, and the smell lasts a few minutes, uh, but it has a unique kind of, uh, I don't even know what you'd call this. It's kind of like a citrus type. Um, some people say it smells like vomit. Some people sm say it smells awesome. Um, so it is rather polarizing, but I, I promise you the scent doesn't stay. Uh, and um, and the, the beauty of this is it doesn't leave anything behind. There's no UV stuff. Forget this whole dream of having UV protection. You don't need that. That's what your windows do. Uh, that's what your window tint would do even more. Um, so I don't want to leave anything behind. Uh, I just want to clean the surface, leave a nice matte looking, regular looking finish. Uh, and that's what, uh, that's what we get. So gallon, 32 ounce. We also have a 16 ounce if you wanted to like try it a la carte because you can buy all this stuff separately. Um, but I prefer you know 32 ounce bottles. The goal long term here would be to have uh, press all bottles, to have these with PNS interior cleaner. But uh, we're we're still working on that and ironing that, these out. We're on version one or 1.3 of the sprayer head, and so someday we'll have these with a prop appropriate label and you know, appropriately identifying what the, what the product is because I hate having all these different spray bottles. So someday we'll get there. Uh, next product, which is the most versatile anywhere in your house, uh, is invisible glass. Uh, Gion glass, um, um, uh, what's the other glass cleaner I was using for a while? Grios, Grios glass. Uh, is great. Adams is fine. Um, I think this is sort of the best, the best version. It's the cheapest. It's the most readily available, and um, I, you know, I didn't think I would be able to get it. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, you can get this stuff anywhere. But uh, we sell a ton of it because you know people want to honor the source. But uh, the package includes two 32 ounce bottles. Uh, the one disadvantage, the only thing I don't like, is that they don't sell a gallon. I've been after them for a while. They did away with a gallon a number of years ago and haven't brought it back. 
Uh, they do sell a five gallon jug, which you probably want. Uh, but it's inexpensive enough to buy in 32 ounce or 20 whatever 21 ounce bottles you can just keep buying these without having to refill them but uh, someday i'd really love to have a gallon refill that way we can do one 32 ounce bottle and a gallon and then again put it in a press all bottle at some point but two two 32 ounce things of invisible glass which is my sort of all-purpose glass cleaner and then you have this product uh, this is angel wax vision Whatever you do, don't pop the top and sniff it. It'll burn your nostrils out. Uh, I think of this combination. This is when you have that kind of gunk in the corners of the windows, uh, either exterior or interior. Um, I'll use this on my computer screen when I have like smudgy fingerprints, lots of oils and things like that. Of course, invisible glass will do the job, uh, but I think of this as my like hammer. This is the sledgehammer. This is the all-purpose, everyday, you know, uh, regular duty hammer, a little ball peen hammer in the garage, uh, or this is the freaking sledge. This is the uh, the, the, the six-pound sledge. Uh, and so this, I think, a single 16-ounce bottle is all you need. This will last you for years. Um, but Vision, well, we bring this in from the UK, and um, having a bottle of this in my cabin, I find myself grabbing this occasionally. Uh, and so to me, it makes sense to have in the package and for you to buy it because I'm using it too. I just don't use it all the time. I don't like to spray it directly on tint. You can use it on tint, but I spray it on a towel first. Uh, but this is what I generally use. Again, if I need to, if I have something real funky on my glass, I'll use this. A lot of times I'll use this in the initial clean on like a new car or a car I just got that hasn't been, uh, that where the, the glass, the interior glass hasn't been cleaned as well. And then the glass cleaning products that we use is the reach and clean tool uh, let me go grab one out of the cabinet here in a second uh, and then these are the microfiber replacements so there's a couple of as seen on tv products in my arsenal here this i think is one of them uh, the other one is the uh, nozzle for our bucket filler um, i don't like the pad that comes with this thing so it comes with this little stick on microfiber thingy so it just sits on here but I, I don't like it what i do like is the these are the traditional uh really tight weave i forget the weave they call this the type of microfiber uh, and this doesn't fit super well like it's not super easy to get on here uh, but i prefer these microfiber i guess they're tight tight weave type of towel i hate this type of towel handheld because it's super grabby but on this thing so we're sort of modifying this a bit and that they've kind of done away with doing these bonnets so i hope they don't discontinue it but the reason why they've done away with this because it will eventually cut into this and kind of ruin it uh, but i mean the pack of this is cheap enough so we we, we the package includes a three pack uh, and so what i'm doing is then i'm you know putting on the glass and i'm going to town on it and so this stays nice tight you can see how it's wrapped around uh, and again, you would use this not so much to do the full cleaning. Um, I would use a regular towel to do the initial wiping. And then this just kind of gets the cracks and the excess because this type of towel doesn't absorb a lot of liquid. So um, you've seen me do this many, many times, but this, this tool is fantastic for the windshield and the rear, rear window, getting all the, all the edges. The key to keeping your windows from fogging, forget all this anti-fog and all this other bull crap, some coatings and stuff for the interior of your car. No, just keep it clean. And you only have to clean it like once every three months, as long as you're not doing something weird inside the interior, like sneezing all over it or something, I don't know. Um, but I find that the combination of having vision, invisible glass, so vision when needed, invisible glass most of the time, uh, clean it once every two, three, four months, depending on how cleanly you are, uh, and then using the clean and reach tool combined with the waffle weave microfiber towels or something that I, th I think is, is useful. Then the last part of the base package, you see all these products here, but the base package is Eden and Bliss. And the reason why I put both of them in there is because they're 25 bucks a piece. Um, I think you want them both. Uh, they come with the Flarisol type, you know, these sort of self-priming. Um, uh, these are like hyper-atomizing. They really atomize the, uh, the scent. 
<sighs> the only thing I don't love about these, they don't last forever. You know, in fact, they don't last very long at all, maybe a day or two. Um, but I just kind of missed it into the, uh, into the interior. Uh, Bliss has more of a, uh, let's call it manly, and Eden's more of a girly. Um, the, this sort of smells like a cologne. This one smells like a fruity. I, I like the fruity one better. Um, but uh, I think putting these in the package makes a lot of sense, having these to kind of spritz your interior down. If you go too aggressive, then you'll get a headache. If you go too conservative, it doesn't last very long. Um, maybe we'll chase some sort of better, longer lasting scent. Uh, same thing, I've used the Griot's leather scent for a number of years and um, that, that, that product also lasts a few minutes or so. Um, but it makes me feel good and uh, I think they smell great and they're nice to have around the garage too. You can kind of use them around the house and things like that. Um, but uh, having these two products uh, makes make sense to me. So that's the base interior package. Then you have the option to add on towels. Uh, and the reason why I do the add on is because a lot of people are buying the microfiber package. Uh, and so microfiber 3.0 will be coming out here soon. Uh, I've got a bunch of new samples coming, make sure that I, my mind is straight on which towels are gonna do what. Uh, but these two towels will certainly stay. Uh, and so for those of you who haven't bought the microfiber package, just wanna add on some interior towels. I think you can't have enough of the glass towels or the, the green interior towels so these are just a, uh, a 16 by 24 um, new Terry Weave uh, uh, typical micro 8020 microfiber. For this application, I don't love like the Korean. This is just a Chinese. I think these are like a buck ninety a piece or something like that. Um, but these these towels are, um, you know, I think they're great. In fact, I'm using a, a lot of different colors, a lot of different versions of them for, for, for you know, like the red one for wax and sealant removal and the white, yellow one for, uh, for polish removal. Uh, and then this towel, this is a Korean. Uh, this is a Korean, I think a 420 GSM, roughly 400 GSM towel. I don't, what I don't like is big, thick, plush, heavy towels. I find they just push stuff around. Microfiber isn't super absorbent to begin with. Uh, and so uh, this is a 70-30 blend Korean towel, but fantastic for windows. I'm telling you, you'll love this, love this for windows. So those are an add-on that you can add on. The next add-on, which is the biggest change to the package, uh, would be to do leather care. And for you know a year or so now, it took me forever to come out with an with interior package because I don't love interiors, uh, but we did Swiss Fax. And uh, I'm sort of torn because certain applications, I love Swiss Fax, certain applications I prefer the color lock, it really just depends. So uh, the Swiss Fax stuff will stay in the store, it's really hard to get. Um, it doesn't make sense for the package as much for me anymore. Um, I'm gonna get it as I can, um, but uh, leather cleaner, uh, is my favorite product from them, so uh, I actually don't have the smaller bottle. Um, but buying a little, the little bottle of leather cleaner is probably all you really need. Um, this is a great, just sort of all-purpose, you know, more aggressive interior cleaner than the than the PNS stuff. So I still love this. I'll still grab this very often, especially if I have some sort of spot or something on the leather, and I don't want to get a brush out and start really cleaning it. Um, but this is a sort of aerosol-based cleaner in that it, I guess it's not aerosol, but it, we're going to atomize it with a sprayer, a trigger sprayer type application, whereas the cleaners for color lock are a foaming type, so you're going to foam it up uh, and put it on some sort of some sort of pad to apply it. So again, it just depends, and I like having both. I don't want to have, again, my, my goal here isn't to retail and sell you every interior product or every exterior product. It's only what I like and only what I use. Uh, and so the, lead, the, the Swiss Fax still stays. Uh, same thing, the Forte. Forte has a 4% solvent, so this is a little more aggressive. Uh, and the cleaners from Swiss Fax are not made by Color Lock. The Leather Milk, which will probably discontinue, uh, but the Leather Milk is the same thing as Leather Protector. And then I forget what they call Shield. Um, but this leather or something else, something else, I'm, I'm sure someone will put it in the comments. But um, this product is manufactured by Color Lock, uh, and um, you know it makes doesn't make sense if I'm going to carry Color Lock to carry this as as, as much. Uh, we may still have some of it just in case people wanted a matching set. Uh, but those will still stay a la carte, just like the 16 ounce interior cleaner. Um, but we're going to be transitioning to to the the Color Lock stuff in the package. 
So what, what, what this add-on includes is that what you're seeing here, so brush, the brush is now slightly larger. I think this is kind of in partnership with the rag company. Uh, they changed it to black, and then you know we have it branded Obsessed Garage. We just bought a bunch of them. We had to buy like 500 or 1,000 or something like that. Uh, you can't have too many of these brushes. So if I were you, I'd add on three or four more of these. I mean, in my, in my drawer over here, I've got one, two, three, four. So, you know, and I've used every one of them for certain things. I'll grab these for all kinds of weird cleaning, cleaning, cleaning um, uh, porous plastic and rubber and all kinds of stuff. So brush, three blocks, little tiny little applicator blocks. Um, I like these little ones for the uh, for leather. So I'm going to put some. Uh, generally, the cleaners I'm going to go direct onto the brush, uh, but the the protector and the shield I'm going to put on the on the pad here. So the reason why we're doing color lock is um, color lock is uh, what is it later later disease something or other I'm not going to try to speak German um, but Lars and then Ram here is the U.S. representative for it uh, they've come here and kind of schooled me on leather care I leave the leather care to the leather care experts I've chased leather eek a bit um, I I now having not known what the color lock system was I prefer the color lock option um, I think it works uh, more universally uh, and so this is a nice solid universal kit for pretty much anything outside of uh, what is it new buck leather list or or is it aniline leather I don't know I'm not the authority on leather stuff go back and watch the video uh, where we take care of the M5 with the guys from color lock if you really want to dig into it but the general formula is this if you got all kinds of oil use a strong cleaner if your leather looks pretty good and well maintained use the use the uh, mild cleaner put some on the brush you know swirl it around wipe it off with the green towel uh, and then you're going to choose your protection so i don't think you want to put some thing on there that's going to lock in or make the leather not breathable you don't think you want to be using all-purpose cleaners things like that at least that's what i've always been taught it just didn't make sense to me to use some aggressive thing of course you use an all-purpose cleaner that's a ph of 10 or 11 uh, and you you go and you remove all the oils that's great it's nice um, but you've also you know likely damaged the leather long term uh, and so instead use something that is more ph specific that's more ph specifically designed for leather stick with that i'm telling you it'll come out amazing the um, amazingly uh, and the brush is the key and then here's the choice leather shield if your leather is three years old or less all you need is shield right so if it's three years old or less shield if it's three years old or more protection or leather protector first let it cure if you will or let it sit for a few hours and then shield and then you can kind of treat with shield periodically once every five six months something like that so the concept here is that shield becomes your wax if you will it's not a wax but it becomes let's think of it like the surface of your paint it's like a wax and then in six months from now the wax kind of wears away on your pants and things like that so this will help with dye transfer and things like that and then uh, you put another coat on you put another coat on and depending on how much dirt and grime and stuff you build up you want to clean it with the with a mild cleaner add more shield clean it shield clean it shield and that's all you need to do to maintain it forget all this uv and all this bull crap that's what this takes care of um, this has some uv protection in it uh, and so you need this as your leather starts to age and you'll see some pretty amazing results with not a whole heck of a lot of effort so that's package add-on A. Package add-on B is if you have Alcantara. So if I have Alcantara, um, you want a sanding pad. I'm not really, I never really have to sand leather. That's much more advanced than my, uh, my pay grade. Um, but this leather sanding pad works amazingly well for sanding Alcantara. Uh, go and watch some of the videos where I sand Alcantara. Uh, just, just search Alcantara on the channel and you'll see it. Another brush. 
because again, you can't have too many of these. Yes, you can use this brush on Alcantara. Uh, you don't want to go buffing it out, but um, but you can use this to clean. Sonex Alcantara cleaner. I like it better than the than the Color Lock stuff. And a couple of bigger Adams blocks. Uh, so what I'll generally do is kind of foam this up, apply it to the leather at or up to the Alcantara, agitate it. Uh, we'll, I generally use the steamer as well to kind of wet it down. But you can you, you can use a spray bottle if you want. Uh, again, go watch some of the videos. I have a bunch of Alcantara cleaning videos. The more, the newer the video, the better. Um, but that's our second add-on. So base package, yes or no to towels, yes or no to leather care, yes or no to, to uh, Sonax, uh, yes or no to all. You could buy all of the above. Some of the other things we have a la carte. Um, I also have a uh, cleaner for artificial leather, so vinyl, you know, so this is a vinyl cleaner uh, and then a vinyl protector. So if you have some, some vinyl or some of that kind of spongy plastic, you can use these if you didn't want to use the, you know, the, um, uh, the, uh, the, this, this stuff here. So, um, you know, some of the things in the wrapper and stuff like that, I, I would clean this with that aren't leather. Uh, and then we have, um, I also have refills. So the larger, uh, what is this, uh, one liter. So one liter size of strong cleaner, one liter size of mild cleaner, one liter size of leather protector, or one liter of leather shield, and it just depends. Some have the big wide neck, some have the other neck, so don't ask which one's coming. I think it's depending on availability of bottles to them. Uh, and then we also have refill bottles for the protector and shield, and you have uh, refill bottles. Uh, they don't make that, they don't sell this, the larger ones, I don't think. Um, but we have these these refill bottles. If you wanted to just buy the liters and build your own package, you could. But these these because this will last so long, I didn't include this in the package. So that's the interior package, and then a couple other things to to consider, um, which will be a separate thing, uh, not part of the package. Would be Angel Wax Clarity Wolf's Nano Glass Sealant. Uh, they all, we also have it in a smaller smaller uh, container and then some applicators. Uh, so these would be for the exterior windows. So again, you're still going to use these glass cleaners for the windows. Um, but then uh, what I generally do is put two coats of Wolf's on with some suede applicators and a carpo block. Uh, and, uh, and again, you can get it in the big size or the small size. You know, these are the same, same product. Uh, and then I'm going to fill 19 to 1 uh, or uh, for winter 4 to 1 if you uh, live up north and where, where it freezes. Uh, and so this is Angel Wax Clarity that I'm putting in my uh, reservoir for my squirters, uh, my window, uh, window, whatever you call those things, uh, window squirter thingies. So that's all the interior and glass stuff and uh, it should be available in the store right now, uh, ready to go but I um, wanted to bring you up to speed with what I'm using um, on the GT4s right here. I'll be using some of the products in the GT4 detailing series, uh, but this is my continued pursuit to building the ultimate uh, detailing package of one of everything that I use in my cabinet without any extra fluff. Uh, and so this package is a very important one, even though I hate doing interior, interiors in general. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, shoot us an email, support at obsessedgarage.com. Uh, we can help you sort of customize this if you, if you wanted to do something a little different. Uh, but remember, all this stuff is a la carte, and you can always watch these videos to learn more about the product, as well as me doing videos showing you how to use it. So uh, hopefully we'll continue to bring in more experts. Uh, we'll have Color Lock come back. We'll have the guys from Swiss Wax come in. We'll have the guys from, uh, from Angel Wax and... Um, and PNS come by uh, throughout the year uh, to, uh, to teach us more and more about the stuff uh, as we uh, continue to become more, I guess you could say, prosumer, professional grade. So thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. More detailing packages coming.